Welcome back to the fifth video in our series where I'm recording an entire song on just four tracks right here in GarageBand on the iPad. Now we've recorded our four tracks and what I'm going to be doing today is going through the tracks, doing any overdubs that I may need to do and doing any basic editing so that I've got four nice clean tracks ready to mix and ready to do my final production. Now, confession time, after the last video where I recorded the fourth track, I was not very happy with any of them. Something about uh, recording in front of a camera and in an awkward position, perhaps. Uh, that's my excuse anyway, I'm sticking to it. But what I have actually done is re-recorded all of these tracks. So it's the same song, the same parts. I have tweaked a couple of things a little bit and I think it's come together pretty well. So. In this video, I was going to go through and uh, and do some overdubs. You can probably see here already, I have already recorded a few parts again, but the majority of this was pretty much all in one take. And when I say one take, I did about three or four takes, but it was the, the best overall take. I didn't want to spend hours comping together three, four, five takes. Uh, it's a bit of a diminishing returns thing that uh, it was... It's close to where I want it now, and the sound sounds good. It sounds good together, so I wanted to go with that. So I'll just run through what we have here, because in the next and final video, I'll be doing the final mix down and the final editing process just to bring this all together. But what I've done so far is, you can see I've got our four tracks here. The top track here is the original uh, guitar, that I recorded with the low harmony vocal. So if we slide out and just solo this one, this is a track that sounds a bit like this. And what I've done with this so far is just pushed it over here to the left and just adjusted the volume. There's been a few little tweaks that I made to the default settings here uh, on the compressor and the, the reverb just to sweeten it up a little bit before we go into the final mixing phase. But when we get to the mixing, I'll show what I have so far and we might be doing a few tweaks there then. So if we go to the second track now and we'll change the solo. The same thing here, this is the high guitar part with the slightly higher vocal backing as well. So some of the um, accompanying vocals. So this part sounds a bit like this. And you can hear there that the vocals aren't exactly spot on um, because playing and singing backing vocals at the same time is something I find quite challenging and getting the mic position right where it was a good balance between the two was also a bit of a challenge. So again, when it all comes together in the mix, it's sounding pretty good and with some volume automation and a few other bits and pieces that I'm gonna do in the mixing phase, I think it's gonna to come together nicely. Third track here is our main backing vocal and we'll change that over here and once again just trying to hang on hard to see this fear. and again <laughs> you can hear that uh, there's a few notes there that aren't exactly perfectly spot on when it comes together in the mix it's it does sound okay um, and once again, it's the how many takes do I want to do? How many vocals do I want to comp together? So I'm not settling, I guess, for a low standard, but I'm also not going to spend my time on something that gets uh, that is really much an, an accompaniment. What you'll also hear in that version is that there's a very faint tapping in the background, which was literally me tapping along on a box. And I added that because whilst there's no percussion in this track, I really wanted that driving a hit on all of the beats as a bit of a background to the track. So you can barely hear it, especially in the full mix, but it just kind of gives you that little bit of a tick on the, the first, second, third, fourth beat, beats. 
and I think makes the, the track a little bit more polished. Finally, the other vocal track here. So this is the main lead vocal and sounds like this. Trying to hang on and it's hard to and again, you can hear I've got some of the default settings from the compressor and the a little bit of EQ and a little bit of reverb on there just while I was recording and, and playing it back so that when I have the whole song together and I play it, it kind of just glues it together. It gives me a starting point. Um, originally, when I recorded um, way back when, I would record everything 100% clean with zero effects with zero processing and I'd leave everything to the mixing phase. What I found though was that that made my performances dry and sterile and it meant that I had a whole heap of work to do at the mixing phase. Whereas now I've recorded these four tracks, I've done that little bit of sweetening as I've gone through and now the mix should actually come together quite quickly um, because the track already sounds okay. So here's what the track sounds like now. To see this. That's my rough sort of static mix and that's what my starting point will be in our next video where I'll be coming back and completing my final mix down of this track and doing the volume automation and a few other things just to finish this off. So thank you again for watching and I will see you then.